Well, 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 it looks like Crunchyroll isn't the only thing that Sony will be acquiring, because just recently it was announced that Right Stuff Anime will be merging with Crunchyroll, meaning that Sony will own Funimation, Crunchyroll, and RightStuffAnime.com. Now, for those of you who don't know, Right Stuff Anime is a great website in which a lot of people would recommend that you get your pre-orders of anime, series, and manga, DVDs, and merchandise. They usually offer the best deals on all these things. They're definitely not making it very subtle that they want to acquire a monopoly over the anime and manga industry here in America. But of course, why wouldn't they, since anime and manga is doing so well, and if you can't beat your competition, you might as well buy them out. Now, why are monopolies so bad? Because when you don't have competition, there's nothing to drive prices down, there's nothing to drive quality up. But even so, trusting one company to have complete control over entertainment is just generally not the best idea. I mean, just look at Disney. And yes, we do have laws that are supposed to prevent monopolies from happening in the United States, but it seems like the Supreme Court kind of turns their head whenever these types of mergers happen. I mean, just look at the Disney-Fox deal. That was a little bit... Eh. But without further ado, let's actually get into the details of what this merger means. I do find it interesting that they find the need to say no changes from your orders from Right Stuff Anime will be affected except for specifically erotica products. And if you go to look for more information about this, it says, as part of our new Right Stuff Crunchyroll unification, we will be phasing out the erotica genre content and product. New orders for these items will not be accepted and they have been removed from rightstuffanime.com. Existing orders will be honored. There is a place to continue to order these items going forward. All unshipped open items and pre-orders for erotica genre products will be transferred to buyanime.com, who will be responsible for their shipment to you. Now, I do find this kinda interesting that they're deciding to take the erotic content off of Right Stuff Anime, and even more so that they're transferring it to another website, buyanime.com, to get these handled for you kind of separating the 18 plus content from everything else, I guess, is the idea. I personally don't really have a problem with separating this type of content from the main site. I just can't help but wonder why. They do say branding changes have not been determined at this time, so we don't know if the website is going to change. But they do also state that they plan to have some stuff from rightstuffanime.com to also be on Crunchyroll, so maybe that is the ultimate plan, that they're phasing this website out slowly but surely so that you can get everything all on one site. Now some of you might be wondering about the membership service, which is very, very interesting question. They note that they are pausing the Got Anime memberships so we can better evaluate how to continue to offer you the best value. Current memberships will continue to provide the same benefits, but says stay tuned for future updates, so even they don't really know for sure what they're doing about that. Both Right Stuff and Crunchyroll stores are going to be operating separately for the moment. For the moment. And also notes that they are thinking about some new Crunchyroll subscriber benefits that will include Right Stuff, because it's all about them subscriptions, you know? So there are going to be some obvious changes, and maybe that'll benefit you if you're a Crunchyroll subscriber. But overall, I don't really see it as a good thing. I prefer businesses to not be constantly merging with each other. I really like supporting independent business that doesn't rely on some much bigger corporation, you know what I mean? Uh, especially Sony, since I've never really been a huge fan with how they handle their content. I think that their dubbing is pretty mediocre in general. But don't get me wrong, even though they are acquiring right stuff, the translations for a lot of these manga are still done by whatever publisher they belong under. So you don't really have to worry about Sony fiddling with the content 
directly, except for the content that they are doing the English translations for. There are some theories, of course, that Sony will try to get some of those English manga publishers next, like Viz Media, but I don't know, man. <laughs> I have no idea. They're definitely not keeping it a secret that they want to corner this anime market and they want complete control over all purchases that come from this culture. So let's just keep an eye out for this right now and see how it develops in the future, but I'm not super excited about it. If you are interested in checking out some independently made comics, I would recommend going to my own store at burningstarcomics.net where I've published some of my own comics and are looking to publish more independent people's comics as well as the future unfolds for me. Other than that, make sure you're liking the video, commenting your own thoughts below, checking out the fan club if you want to check out some sneak peeks to new comics, and subscribe to check out more videos by me in the future. Future. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!